Hello. All right. So today I'm just going to demonstrate the um, the Brawl tuning app. This is a, it's a bagpipe specific tuning app. Um, it's available on Google Play Store and um, on the Apple uh, App Store as well. Um, it's about uh, you can get it the premium version for about ten dollars per annum. On Google and then um, I think you can buy it outright on Apple for $50 um, it's a really excellent app I would highly recommend it I've played around with a lot of tuners and uh, apps for bagpipes and this in my opinion is, is the best one available uh, the reason I say that is it actually does a couple of things which the others don't do the main thing is um, it uses averaging to calculate um, pitch um, and also it's it's very intuitive so um, what you can do is uh, you can actually play a tune and then as you're playing at your normal blowing pitch say you're playing green hills or something like that um, it'll actually calculate all of these little um, diamonds that you see here uh, for each note um, based on a, a just tone scale it's not using equal temperament because that that wouldn't work and what it does is basically um, if that little triangle is to the to the right, it means the note is sharp um, based on your reference pitch, which is, um, I'll show you how to set that now. If it's to the left, it means the note is um, flat. So what I typically do um, is, um, obviously uh, you'd wanna play your pipe for a couple of minutes before you start tuning anyway. But what I'd recommend is um, once you've done that, um, calibrate your low A, which I'll show you to do now, and then uh, tune your drones. Um, I'll do a separate thing on how to tune your drones with this, but um, for now, I just wanna show you how to set up the chanter and um, show you the, uh, the ease of use in terms of setting it up, because uh, what you can do is leave it out here near to where you're playing and just play a couple of tunes um, and it'll basically start updating all of those little things there. If you wanna do it really quickly, you can actually just play each note for a couple of seconds and you'll see it highlights the note that you're playing if it's set to auto, okay? So um, let's start with uh, playing a few tunes or a tune or two and then um, you'll notice how these little um, diamonds pick up the sound uh, and then what we'll do is we'll make some adjustments. I have untuned some of the notes um, and then we can also fine tune it by taking a note at a time. Um, nice thing about this as well is like if you're a, a sort of a, a beginner player or something like that, um, it's really uh, easy just to um, follow the um, you know follow the visual reference here so you don't need to um, have any specific tuning skills per se you probably just need to know how to adjust uh, the actual read in the seat and adjust tape on the on the chanter um, obviously there's more advanced uh, tuning but we won't go into that now so let's start with the calibration so to calibrate it make sure it's set to auto um, if you push this little thing on the top left there i believe it resets it there's a pink button there you push that um, and then you uh, say calibrate and it counts down uh, and you'll be you need to play your low A to calibrate the low A okay so um, set the reference for the low A so you can either enter it manually so if you want to specifically tune to pitch say 480 you can set it to 480 but uh, best thing generally is just to click on calibrate now so I'll do that once I'm up and playing so let me get up quickly and then we'll, we'll do that Okay, um, I purposely tuned it a little bit flat um, just to show you how it adjusts. So it's 475, it's a little bit on the flat side, but it's, uh, it's we can just work with that. Um, the low A, it'll tell you the exact um, pitch of the low A once it was calibrated, is 475.3 hertz. Um, you'll notice that one or two of those notes sounded a bit bum. So what we'll do is we're going to play through, struggle through a tune or two, and then you'll notice how these things move. So let's have a go. <laughs>
so I played to Green Hills. You might have noticed some of those notes sound a bit odd. Most of them are actually in tune, so if you look at the um, low A, the B, pretty close to the middle, it can be adjusted a little bit. The C, that sounded rather odd, didn't it? So the C, well, it picked that up, that it was flat, and quite remarkably flat. So to adjust a flat note, um, typically what you'll do is you look at the chant head, you can see it here, so there's the bottom of the chant, so the C will be one, two, three, the third one up. So I'll just take the tape, and I will adjust, I will remove tape off of the hole, right? So in other words, I'm making the hole bigger. So you'll notice what I'm doing here. I'm removing the tape off of the hole. Okay, and with a bit of luck, that should fix that bum note. What else did we have there? We had the, uh, the F was a little bit flat. We won't worry about that for now. Uh, and the E was a little bit sharp, so to make a sharp note flatter, adjust the tape and I make more tape on the hole. So I make the hole smaller uh, from the top. If you're adjusting tape from the bottom, that's a different story, but we won't go into that now. So a little bit of tape on there. And while I'm at it, I might as well just adjust the F a little bit. So the F seemed to be a little bit flat to the left, in other words. And so I'll adjust the tape on the F hole, which is the second one down. Okay, and I will just basically take a little bit of tape, a tiny little bit off. Right. So there you can see it's slightly um, higher. So there's the F, and the tape is a little bit higher, the hole's a bit bigger to make it sharper. Right, so let's give it a go again, and see what happens this time. <sighs> seem to have uh, made the E a little bit too flat and the C is not sharp enough. So you can see the C is way to the left there. So I'm going to adjust the C. It's a fourth, uh, third hole up. Okay, and I'm going to take a, quite a bit more tape off of the hole to make the hole bigger. So let's see how we do that. Okay. So now you'll see the C hole there this one here, you'll see there's a lot less tape on there, all right, okay, um, and so the other one was the F, the F seemed to be a little bit flat, so the F is this one over here, second hole down, um, I'm just going to take a little bit of tape off of the hole, and the E was a little bit flat, which means we've put too much tape on, so we're going to put less tape on the E to make it sharper, so that little diamond moves up towards the center. Right, and here we go again. <sighs> So if you look at the um, the diamonds there, you can we'll now fine tune a little bit, but uh, you can see they're all pretty close to the center. So that's uh, that's a good sign. So at the 475 hertz is where we're at. Um, if I'm been playing for another couple of minutes, that will probably pick up to about 479 or 480 um, on this read. So um, what I'll do now is um, just show you now. I'm going to fine tune. So you don't necessarily need to do this, but you can if you want to. I'll play each note for a couple of seconds um, and then that will pick them up and um, adjust them. 
but it's always I think it's always best with this specific app to try and tune by playing um, around the phone uh, or the tablet um, you know for a couple of minutes because it'll pick up and it'll keep adjusting those notes and averaging them so maybe a good approach would be uh, start up your pipes tune your drones um, set the reference pitch and then just play a couple of tunes close by um, and it'll adjust accordingly <laughs> So I didn't pick that one up totally, but there you go. So I'll just sharpen that up a bit. Um, the low A does not have any tape. Uh, it does have a little bit of tape on, so I'll take that off. And we'll quickly recalibrate, because you'll probably have seen just playing for these few minutes has probably adjusted the calibration. So let's do that. I'll play a tune. I'll recalibrate and then we'll check where we're at. <laughs> So let's recalibrate the low A and see if the pitch has changed a bit. Right, it's actually gone down a little bit. I think I might have a little bit of moisture here, which I'll just take that off really quickly. So now I'm just lifting it up a little bit and we'll have another go and see if we can just bring up the pitch a little bit more. So I'm adjusting the read in the slot, just sinking it in a tiny little bit. <laughs> 